what happened last time you called him? I had, had to use my emergency wrist call. I couldn't call 911 because I couldn't reach my phone. I was so trapped on the floor with my scooter on top of me and I I couldn't I couldn't move my legs. I couldn't do anything to to, to crawl out of it. I was I was really <laughs> Handcuffed to the floor, <laughs> I, I couldn't. Get, I couldn't do anything except push this button on my wrist, which I did. And it took a while to put the word to get back to nine one one for them to come to. And I left the front door open, and they came running to the back, which I is one way to get in. But I said, why didn't you use the front? Why don't you use the front door? So they they left. <laughs> from out back and came around to the front door and came in. Uh, they said, well, we, we heard, had the instructions that, that you were, had to be found next to your bed, usually, or in your bedroom, through the blood eye. How often, uh, so, and they did that, they picked you up, did did you go to the hospital or anything or no? No, I they just I, I, I get the scooter off of uh, me, and I I was able to lie back on the floor, and then they they put they pulled me up by my armpits and uh, helped me over to my bed. How many how many times have you used them? This sun this uh, nature's coast. Medical Foundation. Foundation. Or it's it's really the ambulance, right? It's the nine nine one one service that you call and you get these these guys, which are a I call, private. I get the emergency number and they they, they connect me with the emergency uh, people. They ask, "What do you want? Fire, uh, medic?" And I I I I said I could use the fire. And they said we're not allowed to give us give up connect you except to the emergency fund uh, people. So you asked for fire, but they would connect you to fire. Yeah, I asked if I could have a fire. All I need is some strong arms to pick me up. But and they wouldn't they wouldn't send it. And what did that cost you? Nine one one. Hundred and thirty two dollars and fifty cents. I got the bill. Yeah, I'll I'll show the bill. Now how many times have you used them? Oh, it must have been at least a half a dozen. Yeah, six times. Uh, yes. So that's like seven hundred dollars, over seven hundred dollars that you pay just to get picked up off the ground by these guys. Doesn't seem quite right, does it? Doesn't seem right, no. And it doesn't. You're, it, it's not covered in with your health insurance. Is you know, so it's, so it's like just out of pocket. That's right. I haven't paid all the, I've got the bills, but I haven't paid all the. Okay. Well, I'm going to be talking with the, with the, with the president about this, learn more. You want to come along? You want to come along for an outing to meet the guy? Explain your situation to him? Sure. <laughs> Great. So here is the group that's charging elderly it's called the Emergency Medical Foundation. It's a nonprofit. And I don't think this is legal, right? I don't know. So here is the bill right here. And my father fell, had to call them a bunch of times. So spending lots of money to these guys. Something that I've discovered returning to the States is that our local emergency response folks are charging $130 just to pick up elderly or vets off the ground. And to me, that is just insane. When the local fire department, which is just as close, very close to my father, would do it for free because it's taxpayers of the sheriff's office. So I really want to find out more. So I'm going to go around and um, talk to folks. And in this video, I stop when I see a fire truck and an ambulance, 
um, to talk to a couple people on the side of the road. I didn't videotape the house because I didn't know what sort of event was going on and I didn't want to be disrespectful and it turned out to be a critical event. But I did talk to a few, a uh, couple women that were there. I didn't record them, I just recorded myself. And then I went and talked to a couple fire, uh, sheriff, fire department folks and learn about them. So here's my video. Your system where everybody pays a stipend into their taxes. There is no charging for ambulance calls. Well, this is new because this 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 is a new addition because in the past. No, 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 no. Ever since I've lived here for 13 years, they have charged for ambulance. They charge insurance if you have insurance. Yeah, you charge. But my no, but father we has. We didn't even charge insurance. So, right. But I'm saying is they don't charge. They're they're billing my 90 year old one, my 91 year old dad who has TRICARE and Medicare, which is 100% coverage. Yeah, you need to check into that. That's why, I'm, that's why I saw them, and I want to find out, and I'm just making a video also to share with, well, see, with the... Because the ambulances are few and far in between, the local fire departments serve as first responders, and that's why the fire the, truck is here. Okay, but the fire, yeah, so, so is, is this a critical event yes, going on yes, here? It is. Okay, all right, so I won't disturb them. All right, okay, yeah. all right, thank you very much. So what I, I saw a fire truck and an ambulance, and ultimately I wanted to stop and find out because they've been charging my dad $130 every time they've been called out. And I wanted to find out, you know, um, why and what's going on. <clears throat> There's a critical event going on right now, so I don't want to get in the middle of that, right? So... Um, um, but I want to understand why isn't his insurance covering it and everything else because he has TRICARE and Medicare Which is 100% coverage as a military person and you know and what's in and what's going on. So um, That was good. So it's a volunteer system here and because services are far few between it's not paid for by taxes and Somehow they're around it, but she's saying it's been happening for 13 years, but my father's never been charged until the past year or so this fee so I'm a little confused on that so I figured I'd run by to our local fire station which is right here which is less than a mile from my dad's house and you can see there's a whole bunch of county sheriffs they must be using this as a drop-off spot so this is our local fire station and uh, there's all these cars and I think these guys may be working here today I'm gonna go knock on the door see if there's anyone here so it's Citrus County Sheriff's Fire Rescue Station 18. So it's under the Sheriff's Department. That's good to know. So I learned from my dad that um, when he calls like the ambulance service, now he has to pay like $130 for him to pick him up off the ground. Oh, yeah. Are you aware of that? No. We're, no. we're separate entities. They're separate. a private industry. They're pri is it because they're private or they're, not, are they volunteer? And because no, my question not, is... They're, they're, they're private they're, industry, so they charge. Our services are covered by the tax. Yeah. Okay. Because he, um, um, that was, because he now, what he tried to do is he called, he said, well, he knows that with the fire. And he said, hey, he called, the, hey, can you put me through to the fire <laughs> department? Because they're just around the corner mm -hmm. and have them come get me. There's all, oh, we can't do that. So they wouldn't put his call through to you guys just to pick him up because he, you know, he came off his, his, his chair. If it's you know, a flaw, they're going to call, they're going to call all of us. They're going to call EMS and they're going to call us all. Okay. Well, I'm trying to figure out why, number one, what I'm trying to figure out is why is it not covered in his health insurance? Because he has TRICARE and Medicare. Uh -huh. Why he's paying out of pocket? Because he fell down six times last month. Mm -hmm. he, wow. in, in, uh I think four of the times they came. So that's like $500 he paid to right. be, just, just to be picked, picked up. up and put back in bed. Or just picked up, put in his chair. Because right. one time the scooter fell on him. Um, and uh, he's got balance issues, you know, and, and you know when he goes to the toilet, it mess up. So you guys know nothing about that. No, you'd have to no. talk yeah. to somebody from Nature right. Coast. So if he wanted, is there, you know, um, is there a speed dial directly to this place? So if, if no, in a situation, no. he has yeah, to go it through goes to the emergency services, and then depending on what information they get from him, is how they, they it's broken up into responses like Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, okay. Delta, Echo, as uh, severity. Okay. So. Depending on what happened, um, but he can't request the fire department to come. He no, can't do that. It, no. So he goes to nine one one. They they prioritize and they it. prioritize it. Yeah. So they so at night. So there's been instances where if an ambulance isn't available and it's something simple like that, we can help them up, get them in bed, yeah. and then end because up canceling an EMS unit. Right, right, right. So the so what's happening? I'm seeing is is the private company somehow has got a deal with the nine one one to 
to basically go out and take advantage of, you know, of them using their services. Well, I don't know if it's anything that nefarious, but it may not be. But yeah. it could be. It could be. We got to invest. It's like we're investigating yeah. Trump. Yeah. Yeah. It, it could be, be innocent. Yeah. It could not be innocent. But, but unless we do an investigation, we don't know. Yeah. So, all right, all right, guys. Well, yeah, you I appreciate you helping out my song. dad. Yes, sir. So uh, he's he's a he's a World War II vet and stuff like that, and he he loves it. So yeah, we've definitely been there before. Oh, I know, because yeah. he's like, all oh, those big strapping, big strapping fire guys came and, and got me. You yeah, know, so on that so that was you guys. Yeah. So all right, that's good to know. Thanks. So uh, two good guys, and I don't know if you heard what they said, but basically, you can't call the fire department directly. It goes through, but it seems to me that he requests the fire department and to come out and help him, but they won't send the fire department, they'll send EMS. He just needs picked up. And the next thing is to find out why. Yeah, this phone call is being recorded. Uh, my name is Mike Trout. Uh, I don't know if you've seen my uh, uh, documentaries, um, but I'm actually doing a, a special on you guys, and I wanted to speak to your uh, executive director. Can I get the person's name? Um, I can give you to our um, just one of the uh, CEO's assistant, and she can take any information from you, okay? No, I just need the name of the executive director on your foundation. Uh, Sunshine uh, Laws means that you have to provide it as a nonprofit. Who's your executive director? I can go to Tree for you. Hold on, please. Good morning, Nature Coast CMS. May I help you? Yeah, I'm doing a, a documentary on you guys, um, and I want to know the name of your executive director um, for your uh, nonprofit. Our president slash CEO is Michael Hall. Michael Hall. Can I uh, reach him, please? He is actually out of the office uh, till next week. Give me just a second. You don't have an executive director? You just have a president CEO? President CEO. Okay. Are you located uh, in uh, Lecanto? Is that your corporate offices, or is that just a branch? No, that's the corporate office. Okay. He is back in the office on the 19th. Okay, uh, the 19th. I'd like to set up an appointment to uh, meet with him and talk to him about uh, what's going on with, um, with you know, charging vets and senior citizens uh, for picking them up off the ground. Do you want Monday afternoon? you want to go into two? Yeah, Monday afternoon would be fine. I can do one or two. Uh, one o'clock. Okay, and what is your name? Mike Trout, T-R-O-U-T. And it's to discuss the... Um... Yeah, I'm doing a documentary, and I wanted to get his, um, his comments on it. I do documentaries for a number of uh, cable networks. But basically, uh, my father actually lives here. I actually live in Japan, where I do my work, and I I'm, I'm actually want to learn more about what's going on with charging vets and senior citizens. Uh, he was he was picked up like six times last month, so at one hundred and thirty one dollars per month, you know, and it's not tax deductible. It's not uh, you know it's not uh, uh, covered by the medical insurance. So I just want to understand what's going on, and where is this coming from, and, and everything else, and where is it mandated. So, um, that's all. Okay, can I get a phone number to... Um, yeah, 202, you can have my DC okay. number. It's 202-656-6012. 202 Correct. Okay, I've got it on the calendar for Monday, June 19th from 1 to 2. And um, if anything changes, if you could just let me know. All right, thanks. Bye. No problem, thank you. I'm going to go talk to this CEO president of this foundation and found out what's going on.